What's going on guys and welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News Channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video, we're going to be giving you some favourite information about these whitelist messages that people are receiving in Call of Duty Warzone Caldera. So, let's crack on with the news. As we have previously mentioned in a video yesterday about these new whitelist messages that seem to be going out, they are in fact error messages and a lot of people who've actually reached out to me have explained that they've had to create a new account recently. Now for whatever reason that is, I'm sure we all know, but a lot of people making new accounts. What would you need if you had been banned for cheating in Call of Duty Warzone Caldera? You would need to be running some sort of hardware ID spoofer as well as maybe, what, a VPN. So it would appear that these messages going out to people are in fact a warning. Maybe this is a part of Ricochet Anti-Cheat actually doing its job. It's a better late than never, I suppose. But there's a section on here that really stood out to me, and it's the IP address section. So it's actually saying error, whitelist, timeout. There are other messages within that one as well. Gamer tag, not signed in. IP address. You must play on an approved ATVI network. So it does appear that it's somehow linked to the IP address. What if somebody's trying to use a VPN to break the skill-based matchmaking in the game and they've somehow managed to find a way to stop that by finding out the legitimate IP addresses of the player and finding out that they're actually using a different one, causing this error message to pop up? Or could it be to do with the fact they're using a hardware ID spoofer, although there isn't anything actually stated on here other than the fact the gamer tag is not signed in? whitelist timeout but it actually gives them an option to try and reach out try and get this whitelist sorted the biggest part of this message that stands out to me is the use of the word whitelist now think about this how long have people been talking about the whitelist as if it doesn't exist all these top level content creators for years stating that there was no whitelist that it didn't exist they weren't protected in any way then it actually come out that it was a whitelist and they were on it in fact but it wasn't what we all thought and then it got to the point where people normalized it of course the whitelisted they need whitelisting because they can't deal with in-game reports on a daily basis because they're popular they don't deserve to have their account shadow banned like a normal casual player hmm? but now in this error message they are using the term whitelist almost as if Every single person is in fact on the whitelist, so they are trying to normalise the word whitelist. That's how it looks to me. However, I'm sure other people will in fact see it in a different light. You know, like them top level content creators who claim that we were all wrong about the original whitelist that probably still is the main whitelist. But what this is, is putting out a message that everybody's entitled to be on a whitelist or somehow protected in whatever way. That's just my trail of thoughts on that message right there, but that really stood out to me. Every single person who has contacted me about this error message that they have personally received, they are not a big top level content creator. In fact, some of them are just casual players, never even recorded a YouTube video, never done one single live stream in their lives, and they're getting this message. And that to me shows that they're trying to normalize the use of the term whitelist. When in fact, we all know deep down what the whitelist actually is. It's the whitelist that protects the top level content creators. It's been proven that it can actually hand select lobbies, put them all into tournaments together. So what's stopping Activision from putting these top level content creators into the nice easy lobbies that we see them getting so often? But again, the IP address shows up here. So I think it could be linked to that and VPN usage as well. But we are gonna do some digging into this guys. So don't worry about it. We will be sure to keep you posted here on the Triple B Gaming News channel. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on Triple B over and out.